Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMX. In this video, I am going to talk about how to solve MCQ questions in IIT Jam Chemistry. Right, so just keep watching this video and you will definitely get some kind of help from me. Some of you asked me to make videos on different topics, such as Balraj Kadam asked me to make videos on instrumentational analysis and organic spectroscopy. Akanksha Sharma asked me to make videos on quantum chemistry and physical spectroscopy. And Anirban Chakraborty asked me to make videos on phase rule. So first here I want to tell you, uh, I have already made a video on quantum chemistry. Quantum chemistry is in the chapter atomic and molecular structure. So you can check over there and if you want to know any special topics on quantum chemistry, you just uh, let me know in the comment or in the Facebook group. Okay, so it will help me to understand what kind of video you really want. Anyway, I will make other videos, right? So just keep watching. Before we start, I just want to tell you something. I have started a Facebook group and on that platform, I provide some kind of MCU questions that may help you in practicing for IIT exam examination, for IIT exam examinations, right? So, so you can join, you will get the links in the description below. Over there, you may ask your queries, you, uh, you can help each other, you can ask me about something, some kind of uh, solution, some kind of questions and to solve those kind of questions. So that will be better for you. Okay, so if you are interested, you can join. Okay, so coming to today's topics. IIT Jam is a computer-based examination uh, from 2015 and there will be total 30 MCQs and in this video, I am going to talk about how to solve those uh, kind of MCQs in a proper way and for this, I have selected two steps. Actually, I follow these two steps. In the first step, I am going to talk about the problems you are going to face in IIT Jam examinations and how to solve those type of problems. Okay. So for this, I have selected three paths, path one, path, path two and path three. So in the first path, just I will uh, tell you, if you know the answer of any kind of MC questions, then it's okay. There will be no problem. But if you know partial answer, partial answer means suppose there will be there are uh, total four options in a uh, MCQ questions and you know two options are incorrect and the left in the two left options there will be a correct answer so but you are confused between the two options okay so in that case what will you do you may think that there will be 50 50 chance to get you the correct answer so you may think uh, that you should take risk and answer one of them but my suggestion will be don't never ever try those questions. If you are not sure about completely, then don't never ever try. Don't answer them. Right. So because I am telling you because most of most of the times it happens that if you are answering uh, some questions, but your luck may not be that much good. So maybe uh, that will give you negative marks. Right. So whatever marks you will gain from other questions, the marks will be deducted. Right, so don't don't do that. You, if you are not sure, then don't do that. You can apply other tricks or other uh, things uh, so that you will get the correct answer. But don't never ever uh, guess the answer and and apply them as a correct answer. Okay. So the third topic, third path, it will be suppose there is a question whose answer you don't know. Okay. So my suggestion will be if you are not sure about if you are not familiar with those type of questions or answers then don't answer them there will be a little bit number of questions uh, whose answer you will, you will not know uh, there will be more than more or less five or six questions in, in every exam uh, whose question whose answers you are not sure about okay so you just ignore those questions and if you try those type of questions you are not sure you are not sure about any options you don't know about how to solve so just ignore them because if you are trying to answer those type of questions then you are just wasting your time Okay, and finally you will get nothing. So don't waste your time for those type of questions. So what to do not to face uh, this kind of situation. So the main and the most focused answer will be just you just uh, answer. You just try to solve the previous year question papers multiple times because if you solve the previous year question papers, you will uh, you will see that that most of the questions you are familiar with. Then, then you can understand that you are ready and you are ready for the examination for this year also because like every year questions these questions will be easy as you, uh, you can solve the previous year questions so 
you can easily solve these are questions also so, but if you are unable to solve previous year questions then you may think you are not ready and you should read more and more and and you should invest your time on study more and more so just solve previous year question papers uh, at least 10 uh, last 10 year question papers multiple times multiple times okay so multiple times solution give you the confidence and the idea about the questions okay this is the way to understand uh, whether you are ready or not for the examination now next coming to the tricks which you can apply for this examination there will be a few number of questions in which you may apply some kind of tricks okay uh, in some previous years i have seen a lot of questions uh, whose uh, answers uh, just those questions was not like iit level just uh, there was very foolish type of questions right so i will be discussing those type of questions also so just let me tell you some kind of tricks okay tricks will not be applicable for all the questions or all the mcqs right so there will be some questions in which you can apply the tricks there will be two types of tricks you may discard one or more options and answer from the left and you can exactly get the answer so i will give you some examples so most in most of the cases the first type of trick you may apply but if you are lucky then you can face uh, such type of questions in which you can apply the trick too right so i will give you some examples of both trick one and trick two okay so now just coming to uh, trick one so this trick is most common and most famous most of the students prefer to apply this kind of tricks right so if you are smart then you should apply you should try to apply this kind of tricks let us consider an example in jam 2018 i am considering iit jam 2018 and there will there was a question like this you know this is and heat okay you know this is a deals order reaction okay you know about this kind of deals order reactions and you know the final answer what will be the final answer okay so here you can apply the trick number one and you can discard the two options from the four okay so how can you discard this you are watching the options on your screen okay you know this kind of questions you may answer uh, by exo or endo addition so what is exo addition exo addition means this kind of product you may get the two co2 me group will be in the above side and in case of in addition the two co2 me group will be in the below side so the final product will be the major product will be exo product or endo product so you should know which will be the major product just that's why i am considering it as uh, the discard method that is you can discard the two options from the four okay so uh, you just need to know exo or endo product which will be the major product so i should i hope you should know that endo product will be the major product so, so you just get the final answer from here and so option c will be the correct okay so now let's try to apply trick number two that is from the questions you will get the answer right so for this i am considering an example from jam 2017 and i have already solved this question in the uh, previous in my previous video so you can see the questions on your screen okay so the question is you have to find the species which undergoes disproportionation so to solve these questions you may think you should know the meaning of disproportionation okay but actually if you know the basics about disproportionation and comproportionation you can easily solve the question and how so suppose you know that disproportionation means left side something and right side something something value potential value and you are not sure about that this will be the higher value or this one for this question you just need not to know so how can you solve this you can see the four options that is mno4 2 minus mno4 3 minus mno mn2 o3 and mn o is all twice so the final answer will be like this so in case of the in case of the answer you will see that this one or this one will be greater than this and in case of other three options this the 
opposite things will be observed. So here in this question, mn of 4 3 minus undergoes disproportionation. I don't know. I don't know the answer. But how can I get the answer? Because I know mn of 4 2 minus mn 2 3 and mn o is whole twice. Everyone has more value of potential in the left side and less value of potential in the right side. But in case of mn of 4 3 minus in the right side more value of potential and in the left side less value of potential. That is why I can tell you that the final answer will be mn of 4 3 minus because the it, it is MCQ type question and the final answer will be 1. So other 3 have the same kind of potential but only mn of 4 3 minus has the different kind of potential. So that is why it will be the correct answer and this one is correct. Okay. So the final answer will be MNO4 T minus. And finally, I want to tell you that don't be foolish, foolish and don't guess any questions that you are not sure about. So just study hard and try to solve more and more MCQs so that you can become familiar with uh, much more MCQ questions, right? So it will help you a lot if you face any problem in solving those kind of MCQs. So you can, you can post the question on the Facebook group and I will definitely answer your questions, right? So thank you. Thanks for watching and wish you very, very good luck for IIT Jam 2019. Okay.